Hello everyone, I am Dr. Diron. In this video, we are going to talk about something known as hereditary hemorrhagic telangiectasia, also known as Osler's weber endo syndrome. What is that? It is an autosomal dominant condition where a person develops multiple telangiectasia relations over the skin and the mucous membrane. But there is a twist. Among 20% people, they can develop just sporadically without any reason. So how to diagnose this condition? There is something called a diagnostic criteria and this have four criteria. Among these four, if you have two, you may have hereditary hemorrhagic telangiectasia. But if you have three or more, you are definitely diagnosed of hereditary hemorrhagic telangiectasia. What are those four diagnostic criteria? The first one is known as epistactis, which is a spontaneous nose bleeding. The second one is known as telangiectasis. Multiple lesions you'll be able to see in different parts of the body, especially in the lips and the nose. The third one is visceral telangiectasia. You can have lesions inside the body that you don't know what's happening with your body. For example, gastrointestinal telangiectasia, pulmonary artery venous malformation, uh, cerebral artery venous malformation, and the spinal artery venous malformation, etc. Many things are there. The fourth one is family history. Among these four, if you are having two, you may have. But if you have three or more than that, you are a person of this disease. I hope this video is very helpful for you. If you want more details, just you can follow my Instagram and my TikTok and my YouTube channel. We'll see you in my next video. Thank you.